Hey guys, I'm Doyle with Southern Paranormal. We're joined tonight by members of the Mississippi House. This is Brad Cooney, and we are at the Decent House. This is our third time here. We've had some wild experiences before when we're here, and y'all done it how many times? Uh, this is my fifth time yeah. at this house. Wow, okay. yep. y'all veterans at it then, I guess. Well, what, what, what are some of the things that's happened to you? Well, and this actually, ironically, in this very room, we had one of the highest millimeter hits we've ever had. It was um, like 600. It was crazy. Um, basically, like almost wanting to melt the darn machine. It was right up over here. I'm hearing other stuff going off too in the background. Um, but we had a lot of really um, impressive REM pod uh, direct response hits in this room. A lot of high. EMF readings. Sessions? I'm sorry. Doing an EVP session. Yeah, we're doing EVP sessions, and we're working with some flashlights. Had a lot of really ridiculous flashlight interactions. You know, some people aren't really high on flashlights. Um, nor am I, unless I see a real pattern. I have to be sold. I mean, yeah. you know, just because a flashlight comes on, that doesn't excite me. But when I get, you know, when you get a pattern of eight or nine, ten direct responses, you know, those piqued my interest a little bit more. So we had a lot of that going on in here. So that's one thing, and we've had some. Um, one night we had uh, motion detectors set up and got crazy direct responses on motion detectors going off and we asked it to. Now this hallway out here, you can't see it from this angle, but there's a hallway over here. Um, and in fact, we had another investigator with us who had a dog, his dog, and we had a REM pod set up in that hallway right outside of what they call the long room. Right. And the dog started growling and its hair started standing up. And there's about seven of us in that room and the dog started pointing at that REM pod and then a REM pod goes off oh, wow. after the dog hit on it. That That's was really pretty cool. cool. Like so a lot of really cool stuff in here. Um, different, um, we've had some temperature drops in here a few times. Six, seven degree temperature drops. Um, a lot of stuff over my five times. Yeah, we, I think the first time we had caught EVPs, we, most of ours have been EVPs that we've caught in mm -hmm. here. We caught, which, which we still have, I may put on this one here, it's uh, in the long room again. Mm -hmm. We got a, a voice that says, bless you all. Yeah. There, and very clear. Uh, we caught children's laughter in the, the front room over here where the rocket chair is supposedly moving. I love it. And uh, uh, I think there was one other, we caught a shadow note that was on the other. Mm -hmm. And one of the first times I felt a static charge. Yeah, that's 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 good stuff. You know, uh, also, just to point out the the EVPs, because me and you talked about it earlier, mm -hmm. these are not spirit box EVPs. These are clean uh, uh, re digital recorder EVPs, which I, I like even more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it was clear. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's, it's vocal, and it, I mean, it's mm -hmm. a voice. Awesome. I mean, you know, um, when it had the uh, static charge, it was in the long room as well. And when I walked up, the rim potty went off, so it's a little bit more validation on it. And we walked up one arm. Just, let's let's go to Greg real quick. What do you got, brother? What is the red lights on your box? That's a temperature fluctuation. On the REM pod? On the, the no, the gray one with the gray case on it, rubber case on it. Are the bottom lights going off? No. Just red that's lights. That, those are EMF hits. That's good. Good. That's, that's good. good. Yeah, that's the EDI. So we got some. So we got some EMF hits in there just now in the same room. Now, do you want to talk about that? What yeah, just happened? I'll okay. Start. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. So, so a few minutes ago, um, I just happened to be taking some spill, still pictures with my camera, and Sabrina and Eileen were in in the long room across the hallway, and I just kind of caught their body language a little bit, so I knew something was up. So I asked them what's going on, and they said, "Just, just come in here. Just walk in here and tell us, tell us if you feel anything." So I did, and right about halfway down towards the towards the back of the wall. I felt like a, a lightheadedness, almost like I was back in the Navy on my ship again, and kind of a little bit of a wobble. And that, so I told them that, and they both freaked out because that's exactly what they felt. And so then we had you come in, and you had no idea, no preconceived notions whatsoever. We asked you to come in, and you can tell them, tell the yeah. viewers what you I felt. I had no idea what they were doing anyway. And I walked down the one side there, and I just stuck my hand out, and I felt, I felt a little lightheaded right in the center. I just stuck my hand out about that point, you know, just to show it. I thought I felt something there. Mm -hmm. and then I turned and came up the other side, and I told him I felt a little bit on that side as well. Uh, now, granted, Kyle's the only one that uh, came in there and didn't feel anything. But it's just odd that all of us it is at odd. the exact same point. All of us felt five of us, right? Was it five of us? Me, you, Eileen, uh, Sabrina, or four of us? 
four of us felt something. Um, that Greg, five. So we had five people all felt the same thing and about the same spot. So that's an interesting. It piques my interest. So because of that, we'll probably focus a little more time in there with some. We did set up some equipment in there just to uh, maybe we can catch some more stuff. He was talking about the EDI that he had. In. That's right. In the same room, that my EDI just picked up some EMF hits. That's, that's so. what I got that static card. There you go. So, so we, uh, we're, we're kind of eating it started. We, we're going to just kind of do those because writing a little bit of thunder and lightning. Which, Perfect. All right, right, exactly. It, it <laughs> put a little electricity in the air. Mm -hmm. you know, there's all theories on that too, but uh, it can't hurt. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, but uh, we'll we'll probably do a little wrap up later on or uh, something at the end of it, and I'll tell you about some of the others coming up next month. We're going to be at a huge hospital in Arkansas. We can't tell the name of it. Uh, we're not allowed to, but we're going to be broadcasting live from there. And one that we're hoping to bring you along with is the one at the USS Lexington. I'm a Navy guy. It would be a tough one to pass up on. Hopefully I have the time to do it. So I yeah, look forward to that. December. Yeah. We also got invited to do, I don't know if you know about Yorktown. It's mm. right down there. And we've been trying to get into it. We ran into somebody that was in charge of it when we was at Yoko. Mm -hmm. And they were actually from Philadelphia, Mississippi. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, there wow. were odds of that. Jeez, really? So, anyway. We're ready to get going. I know Kyle's tired of holding the camera, listening to us talk. So we're ready to get going. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Keep this rolling. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull it out. <laughs>